All right, it's October, and I've got the latest box from Barrel and Blade. So if you're into tactical stuff, survival stuff, prepping stuff, that sort of thing, this is a super cool subscription that you'll want to check out. So let's pop this open and see what's inside. What's up guys, Eric here with That Home in the Future and I'm back with another Barrel and Blade unboxing. So this is a really cool monthly subscription uh, that's full of tactical gear and survival gear and all that sort of stuff. It comes in two different levels of $49 box that's level one and a $99 box that's level two. So this is the big boy box. This is level two, um, and I don't have a clue what's inside of this. Sometimes I see spoilers, sometimes I don't. This time I haven't seen any spoilers at all. So let's pop the seal and see what's in store for us in October. I don't know about you guys, I live in Tennessee, and the weather is awesome right now. I feel like I want to get outside for fire pits like every day. So it's fun getting a new gearbox to see if there's anything new to play with outside or add to my kits and stuff. That's funny. I don't know if you can see that. This one came with a stink bug inside. See right there in the bottom of that Zippo box? That's funny. He went for a long ride. So let's find a place for him real quick. All right. He's gone. So let's see what we have. Typically we have a card. I'm not seeing it right off the of bat. All right. I got a tour of items just from looking around. There's actually some super cool stuff this month. So, man. I was right on theme when I talked about being outside around a fire pit. Operation 64, survival into the woods. That's, that's pretty funny. Uh, so whether you are in a city or rural environment, we're excited to feature some clever and amazing gear to add to your kit. Uh, so like I mentioned earlier, there's two different sizes of this box. Level one, which is the $49 one. Level two, which is what we're checking out today. Uh, so we'll work our way down this list and we'll start at the top with our quick cord kit. Uh, let's see, which is right here. So these are pretty cool. This is actually an item that I have already, but pretty nice if you work with cordage at all. So basically what this is, is a way to store a paracord, or like 550 cord, something you use all the time outside if you're into building shelters or lashing stuff down or just messing with stuff. Paracord has like a bajillion different uses. Go check out all the YouTube videos about it. Uh, but this thing is a nice container. It keeps it all organized and everything. It has a built-in cutter in the side, which is nice. It keeps things nice and um, tangle-free. And something that always cracks me up about this uh, is this specifically has a spot built in to hold a little chem light, and it comes with a snap light with it. And I've never really understood the purpose behind that. I guess it's like an additional survival purpose, cool to have, but I guess it's a little value add they've added to it. But anyway, so that is your quick cord, uh, easy cordage cutter there. I think it said the value is uh, $35 for that kit. So cool item there. If you don't have one, you'll definitely enjoy having one. So I'm going to pop this over to the side and you know what? We're going to move this box over a little bit so you can actually have some room to see some of the stuff I'm talking about here and we'll keep moving down the list. So the Zippo fire kit, that is the little thing our stink bug took a ride on. So it looks like we have a few different things here. So we've got a ferro rod. We have a striker. And we have some little bundles of stuff. Looks like those things are just full of oil <laughs> or like tree oils and stuff, which will catch flame really fast. And like a little pocket bellows thing. That's cool. So I wonder what this little starter, if that does anything special. You know, let's pop open this kit. I guess you pretty much have to tear into this to get it open. All right. So we'll slide this out. So, okay, that makes sense now. So the ferro rod, it looks like it actually slides down into this post here, um, making it for a nice little package. And that's one heck of a striker. And so with the ferro rod, you always kind of scrape, scrape the paint off and this thing should just throw showers of sparks. So that is cool there. And then we have just a little, a little thing of tinder there to get you started. Again, those look like, um, I've seen these before. I think they're normally called like tumbleweeds or that may just be the brand I've seen. These look like they're pretty well soaked. Um, and these pocket bellows things are always cool. It's like a little expandable thing. So that way you don't have to get your head right by the fire, but you pop this out, you use this to blow into your fire um, and just get things going. So it's actually a pretty cool little kit. The Zippo stuff, uh, I've seen Barrel and Blade since Zippo items a few different times. It's actually pretty sturdy. Like the times I've used it, I've really enjoyed it. So that is cool to see. So that is the Zippo Fire Starter Combo Kit coming in at $21. Not bad, not bad. So pop this up to the side here. Next up um, is our Murphy's Mosquito Balm Stick. So that is 
this guy right here. Just a simple, says uh, deep free plant-based balm. So probably smells pretty great. Typically it's essential oils. Yeah, castor oil, lemongrass, rosemary, cedar wood. So not only will you keep some bugs away, now I'm not convinced this stuff works as good as DEET and stuff goes, but if you don't want to have chemicals in your body, this stuff does work fairly well. But the good news is, pop this stuff on, you're gonna smell really, really good. So from Murphy's, Murphy's Naturals, pretty decent little stick there. Kind of probably rolls on like a little tube of deodorant, but cool little value add there. You know what, it's bumming me out. I, I just peeked over in this box. If you've watched my other Barrel and Blade stuff, they always have a morale patch every month, and I'm not seeing one this month, so that's kind of out of character for them. But nevertheless, we'll keep going. The Climate Roamer Tarp and Shelter. Well, that's cool. So Climate makes some cool gear. Typically, they make like mattress pads and little inflatable pillows and that sort of thing. And it looks like, I wonder if it has a description here, because I don't see a picture on the thing. So this is a lightweight, versatile, easy to use shelter with multiple tailor points. Made of 75D polyester with a thick 3,000 millimeter coating, provides long lasting waterproof protection. So you can never have enough tarps, especially stuff that's actually meant to hold up, not just your uh, Harbor Freight cheapo tarp. Uh, this seems like it's fairly, fairly thick material there. I'm trying to completely get this a mess on camera. But yeah, this is thick. It seems to have a really good coating on it. There are tons of little points to lash things down and keep things going. I wish I had like some pegs or something with it, but still, that's pretty cool. So I'll have to check that out online to see what it looks like fully unfolded and get a sense of the size. If I roll it out here, we're not really going to be able to see it all on camera, but I like climate stuff. Having a tiny little shelter like that is super fun, whether you're just protecting some stuff overnight, if you know rainstorms coming in, or you're trying to make um, shelter or throw this in a bug out bag to actually use to keep yourself um, out of the elements and stuff. Pretty cool there. $29.99 value, so that's awesome. So we'll pop that up here and we'll take out our big ticket item, which is actually a fairly big ticket item, just looking at the card here. So we have a Zippo axe saw. So it includes a five inch stainless steel ax head, a 15 inch saw, saw blade, and a mallet in one package. So let's get this out of this wrapping here. Yeah, this thing is stout. Look at this. So you have the big, um, the big protective cover on the head here, and you have this full on like a hacksaw blade built into it. Uh, so you can get a rundown of it. I'm hesitant to try to unpackage all this right now just because there's parts and stuff I don't want to lose everywhere but you can get a run through how this works here in the back so you have the steel head for chopping your wood and everything this is the sheath doubles as a hand grip for the saw huh okay so it's got like pat it's actually rubberized it's got like a rubberized grip where if you're using the saw side of this you hold it upside down like that and you got like a saw base there and it looks like here in the back there's the big mallet head I guess the only risky part Let's see, blade stores inside the handle. Okay, that's good to know. So you can take this blade out, store it inside, and that way if you're using this as a mallet, I was about to say like, how would you hammer with this thing with this hacksaw blade here in the back? So it can pound tent stakes, and you can lever, it's got lever and tension uh, to secure the blade. Uh, so I've actually seen a few videos in this thing, uh, people using this in all sorts of different circumstances, and this is actually a quality tool. It's very cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's better than the standalone products, like just a standalone ax, because I could see like the vibrations from like going crazy, chopping up wood and everything, maybe causing some stuff to shake loose in the handle. Um, or, you know, it's probably a little bit unwieldy carrying this extra weight above it when you're trying to use it totally as a hacksaw. But it's like a combination tool where you needed just a small amount of space to have all these tools in one thing. That's actually pretty awesome. So yeah, that is the Zippo Axe Saw. Hatchet saw and mallet multi-tool, a super cool item. Also an expensive item. That one item alone is worth the cost of this entire $99 box. So $99 for that. And then you still get this $35 quick cord thing, the fire set for 20 bucks, the mosquito bomb for six bucks, and the shelter for $30. That may be the, one of the most high value barrel and blade boxes I've seen so far. So pretty awesome. So yeah. That's it for this month's box. If you want to get the subscription for yourself, it's well, well worth checking out. Barrel and Blade has always had a cool box every month. Make sure you check out the link on the screen or down in the description. Uh, save yourself some money with my codes, uh, but a really awesome one. If you're into survival tactical stuff at all, 
this is the box to get. It's a really great box every month. So, uh, like I said, that is it for this month's unboxing. If you dug this video, as always, hit that like button. It helps the channel out a ton. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll see you next time.